All right. Hello, everybody. Uh, today, we're going to be playing Inscription. This is the furthest into the game I've gotten so far. I hope it doesn't fucking crash on me and have to do something else. Let's go. Daniel Mullins Games. Devolver Digital, of course. Okay. Time to figure out what's on this one. <clears throat> nice. New game, continue, options. Credits or quit? Let me look at options real quick. Uh, yeah, keep that on. Keep the screen shake on. That looks like speed. I'll keep it at regular. Full screen noise effect. The brightness is fine. And I think the volume is fine. Pause one window, not focus, that's good. Okay. Oh, I have to continue. Okay. I just legitimately have to continue. Oh, shit. Just a sec, just a sec. Again, I forgot. There we go. I still had my... I forget, I have to switch my... audio back and forth. If I'm doing consoles and stuff. Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Play the squirrel card. Before I get into this, I, I have to keep reminding myself whenever I'm doing a console game, I have to delay my voice by a certain amount. Otherwise, it's out of sync by half a second. But if I'm on my computer, it's direct. It's on the money. So, yeah. Also, you can see my cursor. Okay. That's good. I play my stoat. Oh, great. It's using WASD. Okay. Bulls require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Your stoat stands on a pose. Number on the bottom left is the attack power. One. Your stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. You win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. My turn. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote dealt two damage to your stoat. That means your stoat's health is two less. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel card. I don't know from my deck. I only have one more. How reckless of you. I have a river snapper? I can sacrifice this. Yeah. Because you're learning, I will let you pass. You draw on all the creatures from your deck. Draw a squirrel card. Oh, hey, Capsize. Thanks. And I don't really want anything else, so. 
Deal one damage so I put one weight on the scale. Yeah, you can play more than one card per turn, right? Pass. There we go. Uh, Ripper Snapper. Nice! won this match. They won't all be so easy. Let me recall your story. Ah, uh, yes. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Two denizens of the forest approach you tentatively. The caustic adder Damage from its poison bite is always lethal. The undying gat sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. Oh, fuck yeah, the cat. Absolutely the cat. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. You came across an abandoned sack. Found a score on the bottle break in case of emergency. You can have a second. Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Three is as much as you can carry. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. You didn't sacrifice me, how kind, maybe. You'll help me. Take your turn. Play along for now. You may now see my moves ahead of time. Alright. Uh, I'm gonna put out the squirrel and then the cat. Definitely. And it should be protected for the most part by the stump. So nothing should actually kill it. Uh... And put out my stoat. I have to kill you, then you. Here we go. Alright, that should be it. Mind the ambitious wolf cub, it ages swiftly. Uh, yeah, I need a squirrel card. The airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Ha! Huh, my bat flew right over your stoat. Uh... I need to take a regular card. I, and I don't even have a place to put it yet, so... Yeah, that'll kill it. Uh, yeah, might as well grab my last card. Why not? Woohoo! You prevailed and trekked onwards past the now bloodied terrain. This is the weirdest game master ever. Then again, I've never played a game with a GM. The young wolf cub grows into a wolf after a single turn. The meek sparrow, an inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. Uh... I'll go with the sparrow. Maybe? I'd rather have a flying creature. That sounds a bit better. <clears throat> you stumbled into some strange stones in the mist. 
you are compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. Uh... You. No, what? yeah, I'll go. I'll go with you. What an honor! What an honor! <laughs> A ghastly spectacle. But the soul of the sparrow now lives in the stoat. <clears throat> Behold my totem. It inscribes my canine cars with the airborne sigil. He's completely insane, you see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough. Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Uh, I can immediately put out my wolf and stoat. Yeah! I can empty my hand. Oh, I can only really... Okay, never mind. Never mind! I was a fool! Hold the rule book. Oh, that's... No, no, no! That's not what I'm trying to do. There we go. I have to scroll wheel. That's what it is. So... Two... I... Sh shut the fuck up, okay? Sh shut up. Shut up. Uh... So... You know, yeah, I'll just take one. Back on the board. I keep forgetting what his voice is. Neither of them should get killed. I forgot. I can't even touch him. Um... I'll grab a squirrel. I can't really do anything, so... You're four damage away from winning. Uh... Yes. I need the squirrel first. Nice! Impressive. You may yet survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. Another? Okay, another choice. The mighty elk, it moves after attacking. The watchful bullfrog, it leaps in the way of attacking flyers. The reviled skunk. Its stench reduces the strength of the enemy. I'll take the skunk. Because I know that can nullify a lot of people. Um... I'll do another sacrifice, actually. The skunk. Yeah. Nice. There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I'll tear you to shreds. Need to keep forgetting about that. And 
This spot? You sure? I don't really have another choice, dude. You cannot draw a card on your first turn. Okay. Oh, fuck. Fuck. I did the wrong thing. Shit. Oh, fuck! Squirrel. I'm a dead man. I'm a dead man. I'm a dead man! Shit! Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. What did I just see? Sit back down. Let me explain something to you. That was one of two mistakes you make here. If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now, where were we? Uh, I definitely need items. The ornery porcupine. Sharp quills await those who dare attack it. And another skunk. Uh... Sharp quills. Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, the striker is then dealt a single damage point. Okay. Yeah. That sounds nice. Let's get some items. A rock may get you out of a hard place. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. So a single wall, another uh, plier, or this. I think I'll go with the, the fan. A powerful item. Turn this, and I'll skip my next turn. It's bleeding yields three blood. If you can ignore the bleeding. I'll take that. Feeling overburdened enough with the full three items, you carried on. The trees seemed to close in around you as chill mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. <laughs> it was the prospector. <laughs> uh, prospector again? Easy boss, the mule's key. The mule. Okay. Um, you have five health. You'll just attack over him, so... Okay.
can't move, so. Uh. This is the first time my cat hasn't been in my starting hand. <sighs> Shit. I'm gonna just... Okay. Put you out. Put you on there. There we go. Please fucking be the cat. Yes! Ah, oh, shit. I don't have any sacrifice. That's fine. He doesn't have... He doesn't have anything to attack me. Nice! Fuck! <laughs> Fucking damn it! And nothing's attacking the boulder either, so... Ah, oh, fuck! God, this is gonna be a slow one. I can't even put- Oh my god. Shit. A thorny rebuke. It's just a fucking slow game, isn't it? Uh, shit. I need to draw a squirrel. I need to. Uh. And. I'll just draw a wolf. I don't have- mm! Just put a squirrel down. Now... Put another fucking squirrel down. Put another fucking squirrel down. Thank fuck. Dang you nab it, my beetle! Uh, what do I have on the field? Okay. I have two cats. Nice. Oh, I need a draw. I am down to my last- oh shit. Oh fuck. Uh... At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed on the sigil. And now powerful year two and four, okay. Fucking last card. Um. God, fucking uh, just, just go. I think I'm got. I think I've got him. I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. The <laughs> shit.
There's gold in them cards. I'm out of a deck. Gold, I've struck gold. The battle had taken a toll on you. Your supply of new creatures was exhausted. Starvation began to set in. If a creature would attack a card bearing the sigil, it does not. God fucking damn it. I do not want to put out my squirrels. Fuck. What would skipping his turn do? Oh, fuck. And the board is filled. Holy shit. I can survive two. And then I have you. When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing the will move to that empty space. No! God fucking damn it. That's not what I wanted. That was a waste! That was such a fucking waste of a good item! That was such a- oh... Ah! <laughs> I'm obligated to pass. Another starvation card. Oh fuck. Get him! Oh shit! Fuck. That was not a good idea. Whatever. Uh Yeah, yeah, I'm dead. Yay, I died. Blood artist. More gold for me. Fuck you. Fuck. God fucking damn it. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. No, you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a... Memento. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We'll work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here are some cards from your mediocre deck. We can put them to good use. Choose a card to draw the cost from. Cost of one blood from the porcupine. And another, this time it's power and health. The numbers wolf. She's a card from which she will extract the sigils. Sigil of many lives and sigil of stinky from the cat. Never did ask you your name. There's now but one final matter. The portrait. Are you ready? You do not need to smile. Here we go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it is time. 
Perhaps you can understand bones. The resourceful opossum costs two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. A rattler. Hello again, stoat. Uh. From the death of your creature, you've gained a bone. You will not lose this until it is spent, or the battle ends. <sighs> Ow. Yeah. I can't sacrifice him? Fine. Oi. Uh, might as well see what the last card is. Bullfrog. Okay. Okay. Oh. I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. It's beside the safe. Let me... Oh, there's the safe. Anything else in here? There is a lot of rules in the rule book. But yeah, 273. The altar deck. Altar deck. Huh. I don't know what that is. How do I... There we go. Is there nothing here? I don't think so. Ah. Hmm. I need to figure out what time. Squirrel and wolf cub. Uh, two seven three. sure if I would ever escape that iron crypt. If the stoat around, a stunted wolf, the madness must end. Put that away. And a key. What is this? So zero five. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, a skink. I forgot that I'd put that there. Very well, you may add it to your deck and I'll do you one every so often. Um, is 
so f mm. I can't move that up. I can't move that at all. Okay. Evens out. <laughs> really? There we go. Formidable creatures, those ants. Very well. I will add them to your deck and make them available for future challenges. Challengers. Okay. Let's see. What is this at? This is zeroed. There we go. Caged wolf. Curious. Damn it. So you're just there. Three, two, two. Even one. There we go. Without having met her, the wood govern is meaningless. In time, you will understand its power. I guess nothing right now. Oh, that's my figure. Okay. I need a wolf cub. Nothing? I think what I'll need is these, but I have no idea how to get to them. Anyways, cool. Let us continue. The unkillable cockroach, it returns to your hand after dying. The nefarious rattler, a brutal creature, once past its monstrous fangs. It costs six bone for three one and no special effect. The maker coyote. But what did you expect for only four bones? The unkillable cockroach. 
You know, you're free to get up again. To keep your blood flowing. I know, but at the point, at the moment, I've got nothing. Some bone tokens for a rainy night. A squirrel and a boulder. I'll take some bones. And a squirrel. <sighs> you again. Indeed! Our friend freed me. Well, basically, I told them how to do it. Got a plan? We have another friend here. You gotta be. Who wouldn't call him a friend? I suppose we are in deep this time. God, I keep switching up their voices. Uh, you cost two bone. Get your hand off the fucking thing. So, 2 1. Right now. Total misplay. Shut up. <laughs> You'll live through that. Uh. And I'll put the stink bug down. Back in the game. <laughs> I'm still working on it. I'm still figuring it out. I need a squirrel. Are you just not gonna play anything? You need two blood. Okay. How brutal of you. You dealt me more damage than you needed to win. However, in my game, such feats are rewarded. To be, to be precise, a tooth to keep for each extra damage dealt. The trapper may be interested in your spoils. If you desire, you may stand now. It will allow me time to plan. At the moment... You know what, actually? I'm no tyrant. You may stand whenever the map is unrolled. It allows me time to plan your my, your next encounter. But do keep your hands off my possessions. I want these things. I want these things. <laughs> uh. I need to figure out a time to set this to. I need a wolf cub to even attempt that. Can't use that right now. You weren't moving before. <laughs> and y'all are all solved. I don't know what that did. The smoke went in here. Is that going to do anything? I'm just double checking. Nothing, it seems. At least at the moment. Huh? 
Thought I saw a hand. Nah, not really anything at the moment. There's nothing. Anyways, yeah, there's nothing really for me to do right now. Porcupine. The regal moose. The creatures of the wild make way for it. Oh! Hefty. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Creatures in the way will be pushed in the same direction. Honestly, he's not even that expensive. But at the same time, I'm... Many lives and stinky. Disheveled piece of shit. I'll take me. I can always get more moose bucks later. Probably, maybe, I don't know. You came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around a campfire. They looked upon your group of creatures and beckoned. Come warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire that will enhance its power, said another. You notice one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Oh. Fire warm the poor stoat, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached towards it, another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the stoat away from the fire and left. What are you? Flying wolves. When a card bearing the sigil would be struck, a tail is created in its place, and a card bearing the sigil moves to the right. Uh, here. And a river otter. Shit. Might as well take out the bullfrog. Ow. Uh. I have three bones. I don't really have anything for that, so... I'll just put out a squirrel. Ta-da! Oh, I didn't even see what that was. Let's go. More cards. The Bountiful Warren. It spawns a rabbit whenever it is played. Skunk. The conniving raven, a blight upon the skies. Hmm. (sighs) 
just whenever it's played, I guess? When a card bearing the sigil is played, a rabbit is created in your hand. A rabbit is defined as zero power, one health. I'll get the raven. I don't have a whole lot of flying creatures, and that card just sounds like it's play one, get two, essentially. Sacrifice or power up? Uh, yeah, I was about to say, is there a way to see, see my cards? I could power something up. Let's power something up. A group of starving survivors stood around a dying campfire. There is room for a creature around the fire, one said. The warmth will enhance its health, said another. One of the survivors said nothing at all, but could not stop licking their lips. No way. Do what you must. I'll increase mine, I think. The health of the Colton was enhanced by the warmth. As one of the survivors began pulling a knife from their pocket, he withdrew. When a card bearing decisions is played, an ant is created in your hand. Okay. The value is represented with the sigil will be equal to the number of ants that the owner has on their side of the table. Fuck, I put that in the wrong spot! <laughs> Damn it! Shit. Uh kinda have to do something. Okay, okay, okay. Uh Wolf Cub, because he's going to be a bigger problem. Power of Numbers, the Ant's Creed. Shit. Oh, Squirrel. Yes, Squirrel. Yes! Yes! Damn it! How disappointing. <laughs> Fucking damn it! The omnipresent mole. It burrows and emerges to block any landborn attacker. The fervid mantis. Its prying claws strike both left, both to the left and right. And a moose buck. So this attacks two different ways. Honestly, yeah, that's quite good. Sacrifice, campfire, items. I don't really need items. Let's do a sacrifice. The choice is yours. I can do an unkillable. Unkillable. 
I'll go. Honestly? Be three sigils. I can get sacrificed as much as I want. I can get killed as much as I want. And I reduce the power of everybody else. I'm becoming an all powerful creature. The incessant clank, clank, clanking reverber reverberated between your ears. The path ahead was blocked by a grotesque feet a figure. Twas a prospector! Okay. Oi. Uh, Mantis. It does attack twice, okay. I'm just gonna put you there and end my turn. Uh, squirrel. Shit. Skink. Uh keep going. Nice. Okay. There's gold in them cars. You've only got two. I struck gold. Okay. I'm gonna take you out. Doesn't matter. Get him! Thank you. Where, where's my health? I can take another hit. I don't want to, but... I'll block it. I'm, I'm blocking it. I need bones! There we go. I can kill the mole. Shit. Shit. This music isn't helping. <laughs> I'd rather get out my wolf. This only attack? Card bearing the sigil will block in a, an opposing creature bearing the airborne sigil. 
Okay. Okay, I'll I'll play you. Put you there. Did I neglect to mention overkill damage? Excess damage is not wasted. It carries over to the card behind the mangled corpse of the victim. Lucky for you. Okay. I think that should be it. Dang, nabbit! I mean, you're dead. Oh, no you're not. <laughs> oh. No you're not, no you're not. I need to draw. Ant Queen. It was this, and that. I don't know what that just did. That did something, definitely. I don't have a one cost card, so. I need to draw. So strange. Why can I remember his name? I believe I lost some of my memory in the flash. Thank fuck. Allow me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. Miner's Bane. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you are granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. This level of brutish strength needs no explanation. The stalwart mole man, the ultimate defense. The uninspiring geck. Perhaps you can find a use for it? So he protects from flying and burrows in front of others. Yes. And he's a cheap card, too. The sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing in your ears. You carried onwards. Hmm. The rank smell of rotten mold permeated the humid air. Every step forward was answered by some nearby slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. What is this? We arrived at the inky black mouth of a cave. A strange beast lurked within. It spoke. Pass one of my trials and I will be yours. In a raspy voice. Three creatures will be drawn from your deck. They will decide your success or failure. It spoke again. But first, you will choose a trial. Trial of health. Three drawn cards must have at least six health combined to pass. Trial of wisdom. The three drawn cards must have at least three sigils among them to pass. Trial of blood. The three drawn cards must cost at least four blood combined to pass. Save for five of my cards, almost all of them have a sigil. With two of them being multiple sigils. Uh, four blood. Let's see. I think I literally... I literally... Okay, four blood. Four blood. I literally only have two cards that have one. So yeah, four blood. It's a guarantee. Let the trial of blood begin. Boom! Immediately! Immediately! One from the mole man, two from the wolf, one from the colton. I read that wrong! I was reading fucking health! 
I was reading health. I still lucked out. <laughs> I fucking misread the challenge and still won. The beast revealed itself and it was. Whoa, what is this? Empty space would be struck. A card bearing the seal will move to that space to receive the strike instead. Sprinter, at the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. It's also f four bones? And what are you? Touch of death. When the card bearing the sigil damages another creature, that creature perishes! Yes! <laughs> because on top of that... Yeah, so... If this creature hits another, it's dead. If a creature hits this, it's also dead. Yes. The the inhabited porcupine join your menagerie. Uh, let's back up for a bit. What happened? You're not moving anymore. You've plucked that from the old painting. You must not like the cards that I deal you. Fine. I don't know... I don't know what that did. Hello. Uh... Um, that's not what I mean. What is that? Why times three? I don't know. Um, God. Let's give this to something. I don't have anything with this. It's me. Yes. Double the attack of the ants. Yes. Regular battle. Uh, what do we got? We got a bee and a bullfrog. Get your grubby hands off the thing. God damn it. <sighs> Good 
Greetings. You need two bones. Fuck! Uh Oh god damn it. Good play. Okay. End there. No. Fuck, 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 fuck. There we go. There we go. That's fine. That's fine. We're evening out. That's fine. Yeah, you got no attack. Yeah. I was kind of hoping for another bone card, but I'm fine. Okay. More cards. I guess it's because I have that card. Touch of death. When a card bearing sigil damages another creature, that creature perishes. Card bearing the sigil will grow into a more powerful form after one turn on the board. I don't know what this is. You came across some familiar stones, but there was something different. You intuited that the fate of the creature selected for this would not be pleasant. Pick someone something else. I'm assuming I'm sacrificing it. Sacrificing it for what? You know what? Fuck you, bullfrog. You callously slaughter the bullfrog. However, the Bone Lord was pleased by your sacrifice. A minor boon of the Bone Lord. You will start each battle with one extra bone. You shook off the viscera of the poor bullfrog and carry it onwards. Okay, I get one extra bone. Neat. What do we got? Bees! Uh... Hmm... Yeah, wolf cub. And I'll end my turn. Let's get you... And a porcupine. God damn it. I'll end my turn there.
A lot of bees. A lot of fucking bees. I also got a bee. Okay. Uh. You know what? I won't allow you to play a card before you draw a new one. Sorry, I didn't realize. Why not? Ta-da! Uh. Oh, it's another trial. Yeah, I'll do a trial. The trial of health. The three drawn cards must have at least six health to combine to pass. Trial of blood. The three drawn cards must cost at least four blood. Trial of power. Three drawn cards must have at least four attack power. So, with attack, I don't know what, I'm assuming this would be zero. Or one. I don't know. Uh, health. It's possible to fail, but not really likely at all. At all. Because I have one guy with one health. Uh, two. Two of my cards have one health. Actually, no. Oh, six health, sorry. Or attack. Um, three, one. What about blood? Uh. I don't know what's up with you. What's. What's up with you? Why is it scratched out? Uh... Blood is quite unlikely. Or attack. Health. Health is the most likely. Let the trial of health begin. Boom, baby! You've passed. A warren, a moose buck, and a raven. A moose buck that I can sacrifice as much as I like. <laughs> Wonderful. Or or a warren. Well, no, that would that wouldn't count. That wouldn't do it's the unkillable one that would make that fucking great, but a moose buck. The sacrificial moose buck. Or a raven. If anything attacks it, it would die. Or no, if anything attacks it, it would lose one. Sorry. Uh... Sacrificial moose buck. Why not? I, I don't really have a whole lot of expensive cards. Uh, do I even have space for... Yeah, I do. Yes! That's not what I meant. So I could go normal, get some cards, and a sacrifice. Or I could do the totem battle, do a trial, and uh, get power. Let's try it for another trial. The flyers have flying guard. Look. There's a third talking card somewhere around here. Personally, I hate the guy. Biggest killjoy ever. Uh, but he's the only one of us with a plan to get the things back to normal. All right. What the fuck? Waterborne. A card bearing the sigil submerges itself during its opponent's turn. While submerged, opposing creatures attack its owner directly. God damn it. 
Um. <sighs> Keep me alive. Stop it. Um, another squirrel. And I'll do that. I can put out the opossum. Wait. Uh, you're one one. I'll do this. God damn it! You're too... Fuck! Wolf cub, okay. Um, I'll sacrifice the opossum. All right, worked out anyways. <laughs> Trial by fire. Trial of the no, sorry. Trial of power. Three drawn cards must have at least four. Three drawn cards must have at least five bones. At least four blood. I do not have a whole lot of bones. I have the opossum and the stink bug. That is it. I don't even have enough. I don't even have enough cards that have bones to give me bones. No. Four power, maybe. Four blood. Uh, I could probably do blood. I could probably do blood or power. Let's do blood. Let the trial of blood begin. Good luck. And I got it. A beaver. What is this? Dam builder. When a card bearing the sigil is played, a dam is created on each empty adjacent space. Dam is defined as zero power, two health. As well as it spawns an ant. Um, or this. Touch of death. When a card bearing the sigil damages another creature, that, cre that creature perishes. So this is an instant kill. Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, a bee is created in your hand. A bee is defined as one power, one health, and free. And airborne. <laughs> hmm. I knew it could only get struck once, maybe twice. <sighs> this would be a good defense card. But it w what sucks is you only get four spaces. This... This singular card takes up three entire spaces. You have to... Space management. Well, this can attack and kill anything on sight. 
Yes, I'll get that. I am full up on items, so I'm going to power up. Warm light of the campfire was a welcome sight. Though the ten hungry eyes around it dampened the greeting. Warm a creature by the fire enhance his health, said one. Stop this. Well, you don't want more health. Oh, fuck yeah. Yes! Survivors are right about the flames. They had enhanced the creature's health. Spotting a few of the survivors drooling, you made a hasty retreat for the coyote. <sighs> Boss. Boss. Hey, boss. My boss battles are high-stakes tests of your aptitude. With one flame, you will either overcome them or die. Fear not, I will let you keep the smoke. A foul smell invaded your nostrils and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by a brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I'm the angler, go fish. And I get a bone. Uh... What do we got? Kingfisher. And you submerge. Great. I'll put out the cub. I didn't see what he said. Uh... And you know what? Put out the worker ant. Which fish are to choose? I think I get this immediately. I've got this immediately. Okay. Okay. Go fish. That's fine. That is totally fucking fine. survive you sure I've got no other real choice and I win wow that was fucking easy <laughs> that that was too easy let me relight your candles yeah you better fucking do that first Fucking try. Very well. You may choose a rare card. Bitch. I have no words for this freak of nature. Gek. A prudent pack rat. Never doubt the utility of a well stocked pack. When a card bearing the sigil is played, you have, will receive a random item as long as you have less than three. You considered one of the angler's catches at a meal, but the rank odor deterred you. Dinner would have to wait. Let me see. A frigid gust of wind billowed unwelcome into your lungs. The beauty of the falling snows failed 
to distract you from the chill in your bones. You had ascended to the snow line. That's not what I mean. Um, I think I'll end it there. We've had a lot of progress. I died once. I mean, I fell multiple times, but I died once. Uh... And yet, I got through two of the bosses just fine after that. It just took me one death. Actually, let me see. Is there anything else in the room? That might have happened. Nothing there. I still have no idea how to turn on the clock. I still can't get you out. But you're still smoking. I don't know what the smoke does. Yeah, these are all still solved. And then you have a dagger that I can't grab. That I have no idea how to do. What did that do? Poke your eye. Nothing. Not a not a goddamn thing. All right. Yeah. I'm going to just end it here. I almost, I almost do kind of want to look up, like, what the fuck to do. Uh, but at the same time, I don't. I saved two minutes ago. Can I, like, auto-save? Well, not auto-save, but can I just... Save. Ah, uh, whatever. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. This has been fun. I'm loving this game. I do know about uh, the late game stuff a little bit, not a whole lot. I do know this game is not all it seems to be, at the very least. Until tomorrow, I'll see you then. Ta-ta for now. Bye.